Intel, the chip maker giant, just killed Clear Linux, which was consistently the fastest Linux distro in literally every benchmark. And this has sent a shockwave in the Linux community. Now, maybe you didn't even know Intel had a Linux distro, and you're not alone. Clear Linux was a very niche distro, but it was good at what it did though, beating Ubuntu by 10 to 15% performance margin every time. Now, the way Intel killed off Clear Linux is sparking a huge backlash. On the morning of 18th July, a message was posted on Clear Linux forum saying Clear Linux has been discontinued effective immediately. Yeah, no security patches, no time to migrate, no gray spirit, just gone right now. Let's unpack this. Alright, let's start off by talking about why Clear Linux was such a big deal. Clear Linux was an absolute performance beast. In benchmarks, it humiliated every other operating system, including big names like Windows and Ubuntu. It especially wiped the floor with Windows. So how exactly did Clear Linux achieve this hyper performance? Well, it was created by Intel, the makers of Intel processors. So it just goes without saying that they know best how to make their chips deliver the best performance. So clearly, Clear Linux had that advantage. But then, it performed great on AMD processors as well. Imagine that. Here's the thing. Most Linux distros and operating systems in general play it safe. They are built to run everywhere from ancient laptops to new workstations and give a very balanced performance. They are like family cars. But Clear Linux? Nope. It was built like a F1 car with only one goal, turbocharged performance. Sure, it was stable, it worked on a wide range of hardware and it could be used as a daily driver, but it only cared about performance, first and biggest priority. It was absolutely ruthless with optimizations. Intel compiled every package with turbocharged flags like PGO, LTO, AVX2, AVX512, you know, the complete works. You know, you could feel it when using Clear Linux. Your hardware just blazed. Clear Linux made all the other distros look lazy. It showed what was possible. But it was not that popular because turns out things that other distros focus on like stability or wider and better hardware compatibility, even at the sacrifice of a little bit of performance, that actually matters. And actually, people prefer that. Not everybody wants to commute in an F1 car. Family cars have their value. Then on July 18, 2025, it happened. A quiet little post on the Clear Linux forum detonated like a bomb, written by an Intel engineer, his notice. After years of innovation and community collaboration, we are ending support for Clear Linux OS effective immediately. Intel will no longer provide security patches, updates, or maintenance for Clear Linux OS and the GitHub repository will be archived in read-only mode. Effective immediately. Yeah, no warning, no six-month grace period, just gone. Overnight, workstations and servers, however small or bigger number, I'm not exactly sure about this, woke up as abandoned. Bleeping computer sounded the alarm. Without updates, these systems would be Swiss cheese for exploits. Tom's hardware bluntly told users to plan your migration, and the register, they were direct. Clear Linux OS terminated as Intel trims the fat. The backlash was instant. This is the Linux community and things like this don't go around quietly. The idea of shutting down a major project that to buy Intel without so much as a gray spirit, it felt like a punch to the gut. People really didn't like the way things were handled here. They didn't like Clear Linux going out like this. Not like this. Not with a Friday morning forum post and a corporate shrug. But overall, the Linux community reacted to Clear Linux discontinuation with mixed emotions. Many people expressed condolences and praises, understanding it because of Intel's financial struggles and viewing the OS as a proof of concept or vanity project that had outlived its usefulness as optimizations that Clear Linux brought in had moved into other distros. So why did Intel pull the trigger? Because of money. Although they didn't mention it explicitly in the post, the post was usual, corporate, blah blah blah. Intel is in the middle of a massive restructuring, entire teams are being axed. And Clear Linux, it was a boutique project. Brilliant, yes, but niche. And it didn't even have a user base that you'd expect from the fastest Linux distro in the world. Clear Linux had a high maintenance burden because of its custom tools. It couldn't just borrow packages from Debian or Fedora. Everything had to be built and optimized in-house. Combine that with a low user adoption and you have a project that's expensive to run with very little to show for it on balance sheet. Outside of benchmarks and a very niche enthusiast circle, it never cracked mainstream. This is not something that a company that's already bleeding cash wants to hold on to. So it makes sense for Intel to do what it did. 
Clear Linux was an open source project, so many of its innovations and optimizations have been pulled by other distros, and even many of them have been upstreamed into the Linux kernel and GCC. And this is the beauty of open source, right? Clear Linux might be gone, but its impact will always be there. Alright, if you're one of the 24 people that use Clear Linux, then you need to migrate. If you're looking for that maximum performance, Cache OS is the obvious choice. This Arch-based distro has explicitly adopted many of Clear's performance patches. Benchmarks show it's right on Clear still, sometimes even shooting better than Clear Linux. I did a video on Cache OS just last week, so if you want, you can check that out. Then, if you want something robust, something stateless, then Fedora Silverblue is going to be the obvious choice. Very different experience, but it gives you that immutable atomic benefit. Not as performant though. Looking for a balance of modern features and usability, Fedora Workstation is a top tier choice, offering a polished, up-to-date experience backed by Red Hat. Of course, old reliables like Ubuntu, PopOS are solid picks too. And for the DIY power users who want to build their own speed demon from the ground up, you know the answer, Arch Linux. It gives you the ultimate control to replicate the clear Linux philosophy, but yourself. Clear Linux will always have a very special place for me. Although I dabbled in it, I never actually used it as my daily driver. Not many people did actually. Clear Linux showed what was possible with Linux. Now one thing that most people don't understand is, many of its performance enhancements were always intended to be contributed upstream to the Linux kernel, GCC and other projects. And they were tested and perfected in Clear Linux, then they were moved upstream and consequently the entire Linux world benefited from this. In some shape or form, Ubuntu, Linux Mint, Fedora, they all got faster as Clear Linux got faster. The super popular Cache OS is a prime example of this. This will always be Clear Linux's legacy. I thank the developers, the people, yeah, everybody involved with the development of Clear Linux. This was a great ride. Alright, if you enjoyed this video, if you found it useful, definitely consider subscribing to the channel and also leave me a big thumbs up. And what's your opinion about the whole fiasco? Sad? Angry? Whatever it is, let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're interested in leveling up your Linux skills, the link to my course Linux Mastery Express is given in the description below. It's designed to teach you Linux and take you from zero to hero within the shortest amount of time possible. You'll be using Linux like a pro within a matter of hours, so definitely check that out. Next up, check out the top 5 hottest lightweight Linux distros for hyper performance in 2025. It's got some really cool ones, so definitely don't miss that. Alright, this is Linux Techs, signing out.